This Raw Vision video is brought to you by Metro Solar, proud partner of the Richmond Football Club. Conker. Well, here we go. Conker hasn't been on 30 seconds. He's going to run to the city end and he's going to kick a goal. Tigers back in front. You see the first final a couple of years ago against Carlton um, was... <laughs> bit disappointing, like I've sort of said, um, personally it was pretty devastating, but then to also lose that one after being you know, in a winning position, sort of felt like it was almost a little bit of my own fault at the end of the day, but can't fix injuries and they, they happen, but I guess this year it was a bit of the opposite, um, you know, injuries have sort of helped me, helped me back all season, but I got the opportunity to come on as the sub this year and it's just pretty exciting, pretty, pretty wrapped at Dimmer you know, put his faith in me and picked me to play and, you know, I thought I had a reasonable impact when I came on, which was good, but, you know, at the end of the day we didn't win and hopefully personally I can sort of have a bit more contribution. It's extremely frustrating, um, you know, it's sort of been the story of my career. This year's probably been a bit more significant in that I've, I missed pretty much the whole season. I played three games overall, whereas in previous years I'd sort of been able to scrape through, you know, 17, 18 games throughout the year. But yeah, this year was um, by far the most frustrating because I'd sort of get it right and then come back and then you know, two or three times I'd play a couple of games and then get re-injured. So, you know, you get your hopes up and then you sort of get crushed again. And I guess playing in the final was sort of like a little bit of a you know, bonus at the end of a pretty disappointing year. But I feel in really good nick physically, so I'm pretty sure that all my injuries should be behind me from here on in and looking forward to a massive pre-season and a big season next year. That's your aim. Hold to the point post. Yeah, mentally I reckon I need a bit of time off just to get away from footy and stop thinking about the body and just football in general. But yeah, I think physically uh, I'm in a really good spot leading into this off-season and then coming into pre-season in a few months. So probably won't take off too much time, maybe just a week or two to just give the body just a little bit of a freshen up and then I'll be straight back into it and priming myself for a big season. Even this pre-season, um, just prior to Christmas, I was you know, I was in the best condition I'd ever been in and I was you know, sort of setting myself for a big season and I had a knee injury which obviously set me back six or eight weeks and ultimately, ultimately sort of probably led to a bit of the hamstring issues that I'd had throughout the year. Um, so um, yeah, that was obviously disappointing in that sense, but I think I can, yeah, I'm in a good enough condition now to just really set myself for a big pre-season and um, start developing on you know the things I really need to work on and um, that'll hold me in good stead for a big season personally.